address that first, uh, since I was had most questions. Um, one question that was sort of a couple of people uh, asked. I'll read it. An estimated five million U.S. citizen children have an undocumented parent. Guest worker programs may not keep those families together. Do you believe these parents will be deported? And if so, do you believe their U.S. citizen kids should be put in foster care or get deported too? Would you consider adopting one of those kids? <laughs> where, where is all this money for increased enforcement coming from? What is your benchmark for considering the border secure? Right. Well, great questions uh, as to adopting uh, children. Now, we have two of uh, 15 and uh, 13 year olds at and I'm sure my wife, I'll bring that back to my wife. <laughs> but I come from a large family, I have 11 older brothers and sisters too, so uh, uh, I'm always interested in seeing if I'm a little competitive, so uh, seeing if we can be I'm, my mom and dad on that. But uh, uh, on the issue of immigration, especially when you bring up the uh, kids, you know, that is something that I'm uh, sensitive to, uh, that I recognize. Uh, that these individuals, uh, especially the kids, um, came here innocently, um, and there needs to be a path uh, forward uh, for that. And that path forward includes citizenship, right? and I agree with that. Now, the issue of immigration in regards to illegal immigration, and the folks, the 11 million that are here, um, maybe I should, who asked the question? Who asked the question, Joe? Right. The particular one I read? Front row. Right here, okay. <laughs> So what are, you, what are your thoughts? What are, what are your, what's your idea of the solution? I mean, they, there are different issues at stake. The question I was asking had to do with children who were born here and are you a citizen children. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a somewhat different question from the dreamers who came over here as young children but are not U.S. citizens. So I, I'm glad to hear that you're considering pathway to legal status. I think that's very important. Um, I also believe that you know, family unity has to be a priority, and we really need to reassess our policy of just rounding up people in graduate measures to uh, detain them and deport them. I don't believe that it makes our country more secure to do that. And I think it, you know, even from a humanitarian point of view, uh, it, it's, it's a wrong-headed and inhumane policy. Well, I appreciate that. And, and so the, the conversation that I think we need to have is fundamentally so what is the solution to the problem? Um, and I'm very interested in solutions. Um, because you have 11 million folks here who are here illegally. There's a lot of people um, that are opposed to any type of amnesty, uh, immediate uh, grant of citizenship. So I think that has to be recognized in this debate and in this conversation in order for us to get to the finish line. And I will say, talking and listening uh, to many uh, people that are here both legally and illegally, one thing that's resonated with me is, one, when you talk to people who come legally, um, I've had the conversation say, you know, why, how is that fair to me? I came here, I utilized the processes, I made the investments, I did the right thing, but the people that came illegally are going to get the same benefit immediately that I went through all this hassle to get. So I think that has to be recognized in this conversation. I think also, when you talk to people that are here illegally, like we have had, uh, that we have done. One of the things that I see a constant theme on is I'm worried about the risk of deportation. Not as much about the issue of citizenship. So when I talk to them about a proposal that I'm interested in, here illegally, one of the things that resonated with me is they're saying, listen, if what you're telling me is you're open to the concept of legal status, immediately, and the risk of deportation is removed. But I have to forfeit my right to become a citizen. But my kids, who came here with me, can retain the right to become citizens of this country. They're very interested in that concept. And that is something I think, and we had a conversation yesterday at a town hall, an informal meeting with people that wanted to focus on immigration and the agricultural community in particular. And that is one thing I think is a path to get to the finish line to solve this problem. Because we're going to have to come together. It cannot be the Senate bill, with all the work that's been done there, that, that, that went into it, and the compromises that were reached, the Senate bill is a lot of times when people push to me and say, that's what we have to do in order to solve this problem. It's just the reality of D.C., the reality of split government, is that we're not going to take the Senate bill and get to the finish line 
Because there's a lot of people, like myself included, who think that the legal path to citizenship is something that is too far and it's not right. Yeah, I, I looked at the Senate bill, and um, and as I said in the earlier comments, uh, I would vote uh, no on that legislation if it was not changed. Um, but I don't think the Senate bill will go to the House. And what we need to do is take the House, and I think the House is going to take multiple steps on this issue. And once the, the House acts, I think the intention is to get it to conference committee and then come back with a different package. And then we'll have to uh, see what that package looks like. We'll